countdown clock will resume on my mark. Three, two, one, mark. T minus nine minutes and counting. And we're at T minus nine minutes and counting. Has been initiated. And the ground launch sequencer has been initiated. NASA Test Director John Guidi is about to call for the transmittal of stored pre-launch commands as Atlantis is only nine minutes away from launch on another in a series of missions to the Mir space station. On this flight, we will retrieve astronaut Michael Fole, who has been in space now for the past four months, and leave Dave Wolf on board Mir for the next four months. TLT OTC configure fuel cell essential bus door switches. Set up. And that's complete. T minus eight minutes and counting. And pilot Bloomfield is now flipping switches at the cockpit to directly connect the three fuel cells to the essential power buses. And in the next few seconds, we will see the orbiter access arm be retracted away from the vehicle. DLS is go for OAA retract. The OAA, or the orbiter access arm, is being retracted away. Uh, this is the walkway used by the crew to gain entry into and out of the vehicle. And it can be returned to position within seconds if need be. Zaragoza has gone to a forecast broken deck. Your new TAL site will be Marone. That's site number three. Nominal aim point, nominal speed break. The altimeter there is two niner, niner, niner. Winds are zero five zero at four. Also, Ben Guerrier is going to be a go forecast. the altitude of the broken deck at Zaragoza, and we copied everything. TRPS, OTC. 1,800 feet at Zaragoza. TRPS. Start ATU, hydraulic slip shall be quarters. Quarters running. TLT, OTC, perform APU pre-start. APU pre-start in work. And the orbiter test conductor, Jeff Lauffer, is, uh, has given pilot Mike Bloomfield the go-ahead to perform the pre-start procedures for the auxiliary power units. T-minus six minutes and counting. APU pre-start complete, three great topics. And we are receiving the signal from Mission Control in Houston to start the orbiter's flight recorders. These recorders collect measurements of shuttle system performance during flight. T minus five minutes and counting. And we have a go for APU start. APU start. PDR OTC reconfigure heaters. Select. Heater reconfig complete. Nothing. T minus four minutes, 30 seconds, and counting. The solid rocket booster and external tank safe and armed devices have been armed. The main fuel valve heaters on the three shuttle main engines have been turned on in preparation for launch tonight. T 
T minus four minutes and counting. Yeah, let's just go for part sequence four. A final test of the flight control surfaces will be conducted. This is a program pattern of movements designed to verify the readiness for launch of the engines and other flight control surfaces. T-minus 3 minutes, 30 seconds, and counting. And final aero surface checks of the orbiter's wing, elevons, and rudders are being completed. This verifies the orbiter's hydraulic systems are up and operational. And the three-minute engines are being gimbled as a final test before launch. T-minus three minutes and counting. All is going well for tonight's launch. This mission carries a multinational crew of seven who will spend the next 10 days in space, more than half of those days docked with the Mir space station. TLT OTC, clear caution, warning memory, verify no unexpected errors. Tonight's launch should be visible to most of the southeastern coastal regions. T minus two minutes, 30 seconds and counting. Okay, that and Atlantis OTC, close and lock your visors, initiate O2 flow, have a good trip, one voyage, stop Lever, and give our best to the Mir crew. And everything continues to look good and we are cleared for launch tonight. Uh, that's done work. No problems being reported from the vehicle or the crew. T minus two minutes and counting. TLS is go for ET LHC And all systems continue to look good. We are go. 30 seconds. Atlantis is about 90 seconds from beginning its 10-day mission to dock with Russia's space station Mir. T-minus one minute and counting. And we are in the process of transferring to orbiter internal power at this time. Atlantis is now running off of its three onboard fuel cells. And we're coming up on a go for auto sequence start. And we have a go for auto sequence start. Atlantis onboard computers have primary control of all the vehicle's critical functions. T minus 20 seconds. T minus 15. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7. We have a go for main engine. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Booster ignition and liftoff of the Space Shuttle Atlantis, extending America's presence in space while opening new chapters in exploration. Houston now controlling. Houston now controlling. Controlling. Roll program initiated. Place Atlantis on its heads down track over the Atlantic. Engines at 104 percent, preparing to throttle down to 67 percent for max Q, passing through the period of maximum aerodynamic pressure on the vehicle. Engines throttling down now. Three engines at 67.
ignore the water spray boiler quantity message. Three engines at 67 now passing through maximum aerodynamic pressure at 58 seconds. Atlanta's moving at 1,000 miles per hour now. Altitude 8.8 .8 miles, downrange 5.8 miles. Atlantis, go at throttle up. Go at throttle up and we'll ignore the fuel cell delta V also. Three engines back at 104%. Now Atlantis moving at 1,600 miles per hour. Atlantis, that is a deucer. Copy and concur. Three good fuel, fuel cells, three good APUs, three engines running at 104%. Atlantis now moving at over 2,000 miles per hour, 18.4 miles in altitude, downrange 16 miles. About 15 seconds away from solid rocket booster separation. Atlantis moving at 2,800 miles per hour. Solid rocket booster separation confirmed. Guidance converging. Performance nominal. Nominal performance. Performance during first stage uh, considered nominal. Now three engines running at 104% as intended. Three good APUs, three good fuel cells. Atlantis now 48 miles downrange. Atlantis, two engine Maroon. Boss, uh, the northwest quadrant of the